participation of women in politics in Nigeria is not encouraging. The journey to picking the ticket of the ruling party in a governorship election has not been an easy one for Binani. She has served as a member of the lower chamber of the National Assembly before moving to the upper chamber. Despite running as the opposition party in her home state of Adamawa in Saturday, March 18th elections, Binani has achieved what many did not expect to happen in the next couple of years, as politics in Nigeria remains a male-dominated affair. The candidate have brought out a woman that people did not give any hope for, to, came out and went through the process, aspired to be the candidate for governorship. She has touched people. So definitely, definitely, she's a good leader, and we will see it because what does it take to be a leader? Affect people. It's affecting people. She is contesting against the People's Democratic Party candidate, Ahmad Umaru Fintiri, the current governor. Governor Ahmad Umaru recently picked a woman to be his deputy, but many see it as a calculated move to get the female votes that would naturally have tilted towards Binani as a female. For many, this may not likely affect the dynamics of voting, while his supporters see it as a great step towards a second mandate which they believe he deserves. I don't think there is any challenge. I don't think there is any contention. This is the man that has touched the lives of people. This is the man that has given everything. I must be sincere, put aside whether I'm in the government and of the PDP or not. I love him for one thing. He is sacrificial. That's the leader we need. The 2023 governorship polls is a tricky one for many residents. But advocates still believe women need a chance to be in key offices of government. In the history of this country, in the National Assembly, we've had just a little over 157 women elected into the National Assembly. It is really low, but at least we are, we are, we are moving. And then for us to have women coming out to take positions to aspire to be governors of a state, wow, that's commendable. With barely 48 hours to the polls, people in Adamawa State are ready to decide who will be their governor for the next four years, with the possibility of the emergence of the first female governor in Nigeria.